we have brand new ABC News investigation into the recycling of plastic bags that resulted in two of the biggest retailers in our country being dropped from a nationwide recycling directory. For the past decade or so, the National Directory actually listed thousands of big box stores like Walmart and Target as places where consumers could recycle their plastic bags and film. Well, we wanted to see just how much of that actually gets recycled. Here's a sneak peek at Trash, the Secret Life of Plastic Recycling. Late last year, we started this project to try to find out how plastic bags and plastic film are recycled in America. And months later, late at night, it led us here to one of the oldest incinerators in the country. If a lot of people really made the connection between what they put in the recycle bin, what they put in the garbage, and the fact that they're gonna breathe it, we'd have folks paying a lot closer attention. We live in a world filled with plastic, and many love its convenience. It wraps the food we eat, the packages we order, the groceries we buy. The United States produces more plastic waste than any other country on Earth. But have you thought about where it all goes? You may think those iconic three arrows forming a triangle mean plastic is off to a recycling plant. We call it wish cycling, where they think that they'll get recycled. But it turns out, it's not that simple. A lot of people don't think of what happens. They have zero idea. To get a better idea of just what is happening, ABC News spent the past six months examining how plastic bags are recycled, teaming up with nine ABC stations in the largest investigation of its kind. It's a journey that took us coast to coast from incinerators. I mean, it looks like a building-sized blowtorch to landfills. Plastics and things like that, that's not what our facility is made for. And to Washington, D.C. Because I hope you understand my first oh, I do. Deploying dozens of trackers to see just how the plastic bag recycling system in this country is working. Hearing from people in communities who say they're forced to live with the consequences of all this waste. That's why we fight. This thing landed on top of us, and we've been fighting it ever since. So you think you recycle? You smell it, you feel it, you can't breathe. We cannot recycle our way out of the plastic pollution crisis. It's not enough for you to put your recyclables in the recycling bin. Come with us as we dig into America's plastic bag recycling system to get to the bottom of what's being trashed. And our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, joining me now with more on, we must say, the surprising results. Matt, uh, we can look forward clearly to learning a lot tonight. Learning a lot. And really, Kira, at its heart, this is a deep dive into how plastic really is recycled. We wanted to know, and I think what we found is that there really is a good faith effort on the part of American consumers, especially to try to recycle. The end result is not what we would want, right? The majority of plastic bags and film end up uh, basically trashed in one way or another. Um, and, and that is one of the major problems here. And at the heart is really an economic and financial issue, that it is cheaper to produce new plastic than it is to recycle existing plastic. Right. And so were you surprised to learn uh, about anything in particular about recycling as you took on this journey? So the national numbers from 2018 from the EPA show that about 10% of all plastic is recycled. But what we were looking at is the plastic that's put into bins designated for recycling. So that was even a, a more niche. We thought a higher percentage of that material that was designated for recycling would get recycled. The other thing that was really shocking is that plastic is being shipped 9,500 miles away to Indonesia and Malaysia we don't know if it's getting recycled there, but even if it is, it would not account for the in, environmentally for the cost uh, of transporting all that trash 9,500 miles away. Um, so that was a big surprise for us, something we did not expect, especially when we had three trackers showing the plastic bags got taken all the way to East Asia. 
So I guess then for all of us that will be watching tonight and many of us feeling powerless, uh, how can the average American just ensure that what they're doing, what we're doing, right? When we recycle, we do it every night, Thursday night, we drag out the recycle bin, um, that it's actually getting recycled. This is really the biggest question. And every time I explain the story to someone, this is what they ask. They're like, well, what's the point of recycling anyway, right? You're asking Akira, my family's been asking it. The point is we have to keep trying. Um, we are holding some of these companies and trade organizations accountable, asking them why the goals of their campaign aren't meeting the reality, why the goals of this directory aren't actually happening, why the plastic bags designated for recycling aren't getting recycled. So we know that a lot of the stuff isn't getting recycled. Part of it is consumers' fault, right? We have to be smarter about how we recycle and what we put into the recycling bin. It can't be what's called wish cycling, which is just putting anything that's made into plastic into that plastic recycling bin. It's got to be stuff that we know can be recycled. And above all, the experts from across the plastics world tell us we have to focus more on reusing and reducing than the notion of recycling. Um, but we do have some agency here. We do have a little power as well as consumers, Kira. We sure can, just by taking our own bags to the grocery store. It's like one step at a time. Matt Gutman. Yeah, exactly. We all do it, right? Matt, thank you so yep. much. Uh, and for a lot more, Thanks, of course, watch tonight and the ABC News investigation Matt's worked really hard on. It's a live special, as you know, Trash, The Secret Life of Plastic Recycling. It airs tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, right here on ABC News Live, also streaming on Hulu. Matt, thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.